everyone and welcome back to my craft room and my YouTube channel Kathy's Random Acts of Stampin'. See this cute little card we're going to make today? So simple to make and it's a scrap buster. So if you've got little small pieces of paper left over in one of your paper packs, this will be a great way to make it with a minimal amount of um, supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a card base and I've chosen a white uh, thick, basic white thick uh, card base. We're going to need a p another piece of white to cut out our frame. And this comes from the stylish, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> not stylish, scalloped contour dies. And I use next to the largest um, rectangle scallop, and that's this one right here. We're also going to need um, a piece of boho blue and this is cut uh, four by five and a quarter and that's going to actually be our front mat on our card and then we're going to cut this and we're going to cut out of our countryside in and i had bukus of scraps left over and what i did is i cut six tiny little squares and these all measure one and one fourth by one and one fourth and they work perfect on this frame. So let's get our die cut machine out and run that through. And then we'll go ahead and put the card together. Also have a scrap piece of boho blue that we're going to use for our sentiment on the front. So let's grab our machine. And I'm grabbing my base plate number one. My die adapter, number two, a really scratched up cut plate, number three. Then we're going to put our cardstock down with our die over it. And I'm, I'm going to angle that just a little bit so it takes a little bit of the stress off as it goes through the machine. I'm going to cover it with another number three plate. And we'll push this through. Beautiful, beautiful cut. So that is done. We can get that die out of our way because we won't need that again. And I don't think we're going to be needing the machine again. So we'll move it out of the way. All right. So now let's bring our card over and the first thing i want to do is go ahead and give this a score at four and a quarter so i'm going to bring up my scoreboard and i'm going to lay this up in my top left corner on the eight and a half inch side and i'm going to score it at four and one four turn it over give it a good fold and this is where your bone folder comes in. So grab your bone folder. And give it a good press. Something like that. So I've got ink on the back of that. We'll use the front. All right, now we're going to take our mat. And this is going to go like this. And we're going to go ahead and mat this. Before I mat it, let me wipe off my had a little bit of um crumb cake ink on my mat, and I thought I had cleaned it, but evidently I didn't. So I'm gonna take a soft cloth and just wipe this off. And I want to remind everyone, if you're interested in getting that glass mat that Stamping Up is offering, it's not this mat, but it is a glass mat, and it's wonderful. And it comes with a silicone uh, tray. It comes with a cleaning cloth. And it's absolutely free if you sign up this before the end of this month. So I thought I would throw that out there and let people know your time is running out. So um, what I'm going to do next is I want to go ahead and mount this. Before I do that, let's let's build the card from this part up. So what I want to do is I want to bring over all of my little my little pieces, and I want to decide how I want them to go on here. 
So let's line them up something like this. What I like to do is I like to get a dark and a light and a dark and a light. I like to kind of change it up just a little bit. Little tree is really cute, so we're going to put that right there. This one here. And this one right here. So I think that's my layout. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on these. And I'm going to start in the bottom left corner. And what I want to do is I want to sit it down. You can see the stitch line. And I want to be about an eighth of an inch off of the, the stitch line. So I'm going to do that one there. Then I'm going to come up to this top right corner and then put this one down. Give it a good grab. Then I'm going to come over here and grab this one. Give that a press. This is the hardest part of making this card is getting your pieces glued on. But it's really not hard if you have a a system, a pattern, which is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to lay that one down about here. And we can put this one here. I think I'm going to put it that direction. This is just a really quick little card, and you could make this card for just about any occasion. And like I said, it's a great way to bust those scraps. And we all have scraps after we make cards, and these little pieces are really easy to cut out of your, your scraps. So it is a great way to use up your little pieces and still make a beautiful card. So... All right, so now we have that built. So what I want to do now is I want to stamp using the heartfelt hexagon. And I think I want to use one of the frames on this one. I didn't do it on the other one, but I think it would be cute to stamp a frame. And then would this still fit in there? Well, you know what? We won't know until we try. So I'm going to turn it this way. So if I have to restamp it, I'll have room at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try this. So I'm going to pick that up. And I think I want to do this in Night of Navy. Just kind of keeping my color scheme going. So I am going to ink it. Give it a stamp right here. Very pretty. And then I'm going to pick this one up. And you know what? It will work. So let's go ahead and ink that up in that same Night of Navy ink. And I'm going to put this right here in the middle. Just like that. I love it. And that just gives a little bit more uh, depth to our sentiment. 
So let's grab our, our heartfelt hexagon punch. I love a good punch. And I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to line everything up. Just like that. Punch it. And now we're going to go ahead and build our card. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put dimensionals on the back of my little scalloped piece. So I'm going to put one there, one there, one here, one here. I think that will be sufficient. So let's peel off our backers and then we'll be ready to put this down on that boho blue. So I'm going to set this right down in the middle. And I'm just doing an eyeball center like that. And we're going to need a piece of ribbon. And I used this beautiful inner braid ribbon. And this is in Misty Moonlight. And it coordinates so perfect with this that I just I had to use it. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Of course, my ribbon scissors, and I'm going to cut off a piece about like that. This is approximately eight inches of ribbon. And I'm going to do the little, I guess you would call that like the little breast cancer ribbon. And I'm going to bring that over and sit it right along here. I'm going to need some glue dots for this. So the first thing I want to do is pull a glue dot. And I'm going to put that down on my ribbon right there. And then I can go ahead and cross that over. That's going to hold in place for me. Then I can put one on the back. Maybe two on the back. I'm going to make sure we can hold that in place. And then we're going to set that down right about there. And now we can put this on. And all we have to do to put this on is pop it up on some dimensionals. I think right there is going to be pretty much where we want to stick that at. So I'm going to pull the backers off of this. And then set this down right about here. And now we're ready to glue this to our guard base. And this card is done all except putting a piece on the inside. So I think I might need some more glue in the let's see if I got a clot in the end of it. So let's just pop the the little pin back in. Sometimes that's all you have to do to open it is just take the top and put it back on. And if you've got a little clump in there, it will loosen it 
And of course, that was the problem, and it's working beautifully. And now we can put that down just like that. And the only thing we have left to do, and I'm not going to fill out the inside of the card. Normally, I like to uh, finish off the inside. But this one, since it's uh, sending you lots of love and hugs, this could be for any occasion. And I'm going to put this in my stash uh, because I'm not sure who I want to send it to. These cards are identical for, except for one thing. The ribbon is folded a little bit different, a little tighter here, a little looser here. And the um, sentiment, I actually did the frame stamp around the sentiment. They're both beautiful cards in their own right. I like the sentiment better on here, but the ribbon on that one. But both are beautiful cards. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial. God bless and keep you. And as I always say in closing, let everything that you do and say bring glory to our Lord and Savior. He is worthy. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items that you saw me use in this video, there'll be a link below the video. There's also a link for the PDF tutorial, which will give you all the supplies and measurements. God bless and keep you. And until next time, bye-bye.